Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Twitch tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add Twitch alerts to your Twitch stream via OBS. So first, what you need to do is have OBS installed and configured with your Twitch account. If you still need to do that, check the link in the description. I'll have a tutorial down there that will show you how to do that. But I'm going to assume that you already have this set up. So as you can see, I have a very simple scene set up. All I'm going to need to do is add those alerts. So we're going to be using a very simple website called Streamlabs, streamlabs.com. So you go there and select log in to get started. You can log in via Twitch and I do recommend doing that or YouTube, whichever you're using. Now, if this is your first time logging into Streamlabs, it's going to ask you for your password and then it's gonna ask you to authorize it within Twitch. So you just gotta go through that and then you'll be good to go. Once you're in Streamlabs, just go over here to the widgets area and find alert box. So as you can see, basically what you're creating is a simple widget that will display an alert once somebody has followed you, subscribed, they've donated, or they've given you bits. So this can all be configured in this single setup right here. So right here we have general settings. You could select the background color. You can enable a delay on the alert. You can also choose the layout. There's tons of options here. And this is just gonna cover all the general alerts right there. Then we could select these tabs for all the different types of alert. So in this tutorial, we're only gonna do followers. So in the options here, we have the ability to enable it. We can select the layout. We can have a fade in, fade out. So the alert kind of fades in and then fades out. You can add text to the template. You can have an animation. I'll kind of show you a sample. And then you could choose media. So some people like to have funny GIFs, things like that. You go into change media and you can upload files right here. So we can add a GIF, we can add whatever we want to, and that'll be displayed in that alert. Then down here for the sound, you can add any alert sound and that'll play as soon as that alert happens. So if you wanna have a car horn or something, you could just add that media and as soon as you get a follower, it'll play that audio. Right here you can do the volume, alert duration, how long it stays on your stream and then the text delay. So I'm gonna leave most of these settings default for this example, but I am gonna change two things. That's gonna be the layout, so it includes an image, and then I'm gonna change the image here, right here. So just click change image, and then to search computer for the image, just select drag and drop. And then you have the image right there. We could select it. And now that will be displayed as my follower alert. Once we have this all configured, just go down to save settings. So the next thing we need to do is go up to the top and get our widget URL. So that's this URL right here. You can just select copy. Once we have this copied, we go back to OBS. We press the plus button for sources, and we're just gonna add a browser source. So you can name this to whatever you want, follower alert. Now in here, we're going to change this URL to that widget URL. You change the width and the height, but it should work for these alerts. It should be fine with that height. You can customize this all later. Now I recommend the FPS to be whatever you're streaming. 30 is fine for me. CSS, that's more advanced, but you can try changing that if you'd like to. I'm gonna leave it all default. So we'll press okay. And as you can see, it's kind of a clear box that is sitting over my stream. So in that simple step, we've actually configured the Twitch alert for followers. Now, one thing you wanna do before you actually do this on a live stream is just test it, make sure it's working. And to do that, go back to Streamlabs, select test follow. And then on your stream in OBS, you'll be able to see that it actually did the alert exactly how we configured it. It's pretty cool and very easy. So that was a quick example of how to set up Twitch alerts for followers on Twitch. Now, if you're interested in doing it for any of the other types such as subscriptions or donations, all you gotta do is follow those same steps, but just go to the different tabs right here for donations, hosting, bits, everything like that. One more thing to keep in mind is you only need one source for all different types of alerts. Just make sure that you have all of the check boxes above the URL selected. So that's how you configure Twitch alerts on Streamlabs via OBS. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you're interested in other Twitch tutorials, check the link in the description to find the playlist of all my Twitch tutorials. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.